clear peace of mind and just to, you know, navigate through life during quarantine like a sane human being, let's just say that. <laughs> Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Sheree Brooks and I'm back with another video. So today's video is how I keep a tidy house with two kids here every single day during quarantine. Let's just say your girl is over it. I need a caffeine constantly to, for one, stay and remain in a better mood. And for two, just to be motivated because let's be honest, when we get up every day, we don't have anywhere to go or nothing really to do. You know, besides if you work from home or you have businesses that you run from home, that's a whole separate ordeal, which I do. But <sighs> with all of that being said, let's just go ahead and jump right into the video. So we are in the heart of the house, the living room, kitchen area. So basically the rule is we have, if we're playing with a toy, which they come down here and play with their toys all the time. If we're playing with a toy, and then he jumps, my son jumps on the game. Well, guess what? Now you gotta pick up your toys and take them back upstairs to your bedroom and then you can play the game. So everything has to have a place. Um, when they're playing the game and when they're done playing the game, I have a little bowl underneath my TV stand. I gather up all the remotes, all the headsets and everything and put them in this bowl and slide it underneath the um, TV console area so everything is concealed and covered and it has a place so whenever they're done playing they know to put the remotes and the headsets and everything back in there <clears throat> my living room kitchen area has to be clean all the time otherwise i won't be able to function i will just be lost in the sauce um i wouldn't be able to function and it just like clutter and madness will drive me nuts. I'm not a clean freak. I'm not like everything has to be in tip top shape at all times. But since we're in the living room and kitchen area, 90% of the time, this whole space has to be clean and it has to be cohesive. You know, because um, I don't like stepping on toys. I don't like the pillows on my couch, on the floor or messy. Typically, I do like to keep the pillows spruced up at all times. I do like the windows open in the day. Um, just to bring some nice, fresh, light air. Uh, yeah. Just to bring some um, some light in the house since we're not going outside. I just like it to feel like we're outside but while we're indoors. So when the, when the shutters are closed and the curtains are shut, it's very gloomy and depressing. And I cannot live like that. Otherwise, I will drive myself crazy. Um, so yeah, it has to be illuminated in the house at all times in order for me to have a clear peace of mind and just to, you know, navigate through life during quarantine like a sane human being, let's just say that. <laughs> so like I said, everything has a place. We just made this hand sanitizer yesterday, so I keep this right here on the countertop. So after they're done with snacks and stuff like that, they can just go ahead and sanitize their hands. So this is the dining area. Like I said, everything has a place. Um, this right here is where my son does his homework every single day. He, he sits at the computer, we do a lesson, and then we'll switch it up, we'll do flashcards, homework. So his homework just stays here that we're gonna be back to it the next day, and it's just like a routine. So onto routines, I like to develop a routine for the kids. At least I'm trying to develop a routine for them. Um, I do like to switch it up from here and there so they don't get bored and I'm not burnt out, they're not burnt out. Yesterday, I did give them a break, but today we definitely did get back to it. <clears throat> but develop, developing a routine, so in the morning, we have breakfast. So in the morning when we have breakfast, I like to, um, every day, I've been doing the dishes. <clears throat> Typically, I'm gonna click up the house. My boyfriend is, he's supposed to clean, he's supposed to clean. Um, but since I'm here every day and he's still working, unfortunately, um, I make sure I load the dishwasher and unload it. I don't, I'm not the one to do the dishes by hand. Judge me if you will, I don't care. <laughs> Sorry guys, my voice is going out. Um, but what was I gonna say? Okay, so after every meal, I like to rinse off the dishes and throw them in the dishwasher. It ha the dishwasher has to be emptied out first. Um, so as I'm cooking, just to make it easier on myself when I'm cooking, I like to put um, everything away as soon as I'm done using it because if 
and that's something I have to work on because typically like when I cook and you know, my boyfriend is here, I'm just like cooking and I'm like in my zone and seasonings are everywhere and dishes are everywhere. But since it's just me, I'm more like mindful. I know that's a shame, <laughs> but I'm more mindful of like what's out and what's in the space because I know I have to come back to it and clean it up and I have to come back to it and make another meal. Like we're making food like clockwork, breakfast, snack, lunch, snack, dinner. You know what I mean? So I need my kitchen cleaned all day in between because if I'm done with breakfast and there's breakfast dishes everywhere, if I didn't clean them up right afterwards, I come in for lunch and I'm just like, damn it, I needed that pan, I needed that pot or something like that or you know, along those lines. So I like to make sure I load the dishwasher even if it's not full from breakfast. I at least like to load the dishes so throughout the day I can just add to the dishwasher, add to the dish dishwasher so by the end of the night, once dinner's done, add to the dishwasher, turn it on, be done with it. When it comes to dishes and not having dishes pile up, because I'm not gonna be doing nobody's dishes all day, every day, can I get an amen? Okay. So even with myself, we're using the same dish every single day. Unless we have like hot cereal or oatmeal or something like that. But if we're having like pancakes or waffles in the morning, plates. And then for lunch, if we're having a sandwich or something like that, we're gonna use the same plate. We're gonna use the same cup. We're not gonna be grabbing dishes here and there, spoons, forks, nope, we're gonna be using the same exact one for one. Um, you know, what is it, detergent? No, that's laundry. <laughs> Y'all, I'm losing it. Um, what is, what, are, what, what is it? Dishwashing, liquid, what, what is it? I don't, I don't know, but anyways, I use like the Cascade Pods. We conserve on the Cascade Pods, we're conserving on everything in this house because um, you just never know what tomorrow is gonna look like or two weeks from now it's gonna look like. So you gotta be very mindful. So I have my wine here. This is, you know, my favorite part of the room, my favorite time of the day, uh, one o'clock, any time of the day. No, I'm just kidding. Um, but no, I do like to keep my wine on hand because at the end of the night, I don't drink every day, but whenever I do indulge in a nice glass, um, it's definitely with my Stella. I love, love, love Stella wine. Um, and yeah, we do it all again the next day. So that, my friends, is how I maintain a tidy house uh, during quarantine with my kids here. Um, I also wanted to throw in when I'm doing laundry, I do not do more than two loads a day. I'm either doing body towels and then like body towels and hand towels um, and then like a load of like my daughter's clothes or a load of my son's clothes. What I've also been doing, I will have my washing machine on a timer so by the end of the night when we're all in bed it automatically goes. Speaking of automatically. Okay, I, got, I gotta tell you guys about that. But when the timer automatically goes um, for the laundry in the laundry room, um, I set it so I can put it for like an hour, like delayed an hour, delayed two hours. I will delay it if I put in a load tonight, put the detergent in there and everything. I will delay it probably 12 hours. So um, in the morning while we're all awake, it'll just kick on and start washing like clockwork so I don't have to worry about it. And then I can hear it and then I can smell the fragrance of the aroma of my favorite detergents and everything going in there. So um, that's another way I get things done. I like to have things work with me and work for me. I don't like to do all of it by myself and just overwhelm myself. So if I can do little things like that, like put the laundry in at night, set a timer so in the morning it's good to go. I just throw it in the dryer and then another load for that day and I'm done. Hey, I'll take it, okay? <laughs> um, one final thing, my iRobot. This guy is definitely, most definitely a lifesaver um, since we're home all day long. Obviously the snacks, the crumbs, the food, gets all over the floors. So when I'm cleaning the countertops in the morning and after snack and stuff like that, I will just dust it all on the ground. Don't judge me. I have hard hard floors, hard tile floors, but I dust it all on the ground and then I call on my Jeffrey, his name, he has a name and his name is Jeffrey, <laughs> okay? Um, I call on my Jeffrey and he literally gets the house clean. And speaking of a timer, like I mentioned earlier, he also is on a timer. So I time him on my phone 
what time to wake up and clean and what time um, and what days we're cleaning. So he cleans Monday through Friday and he starts at eight o'clock in the morning. <laughs> it's nice and fresh in here because I need it so fresh and so clean always. I hope you all need it fresh and clean in our homes. I made my own little Lysol mix. Um, so this is just like a an empty spray bottle, it was. Um, and what I put in here, I put isopropyl alcohol. Um, we have some essential oil, lemon, and uh, peppermint. The mix of the two, you guys, smells so good. Um, I would highly recommend making yourself an aromatherapy blend, you guys. I kid you not. The aroma in the house just calms your nerves, and it's very, um, very calming. Okay. <laughs> next, time, next time you guys see the house, um, I'm gonna have diffusers all over the house, okay? Like lavender, peppermint, eucalyptus, all of it, all over, all over the house. Just so everyone in the house is nice and calm, nice and zen, nice and serene. I need that throughout my day. Like I said, if I'm gonna be here all day during quarantine or whatever we're doing, I need my nerves to be calm and I need to be relaxed. Um, besides, I have my cup of coffee in the morning. But yeah, guys, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I gave you guys a quick little tour of my home, the downstairs area. I hope you guys liked it. I will be doing a house tour soon. Um, hey guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. What are you guys doing to stay sane? How are you guys keeping your homes clean? If you guys have kids in your house, what are you doing? What tips? Go ahead and share your tips down below on how you guys are keeping a tidy home with kids in your house all day every day this is week number two for us we've been in the house for two weeks straight i probably ran to walmart one time and it was like at six o'clock in the morning while everyone was sleeping and i just ran there before my boyfriend had to go to work and grab like a few necessities here and there but besides that we've been in here two weeks straight and <sighs> We're doing okay, and I hope you guys are doing okay too. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I love you guys, and you guys will see me in the next one. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you guys will be notified next time your girl uploads a video. And if you guys haven't noticed, also, I did upload three videos this week, so I'm gonna try to upload three while I'm home while this is going on. So Mondays, Wednesdays, and Sundays will hopefully be my uploading day. So if you guys don't catch me on here, you can also catch me on the gram at Sharia B Baby. I would love for you guys to follow me and see what we're up to on a daily basis. So again, thank you guys for so much for watching. I love you guys and you guys will see me in the next one. Bye guys. <laughs>